season. And when you look at his numbers, you can understand to an extent why they'd be like, hey, whatever you have to do <laughs> if you're going to produce like that. I want to ask about another game because it's the Warriors and the Sixers tonight, which, you know, if you look at it on paper, you go, okay, this should be a blowout. However, the Warriors just barely escaped with a road win on a last second three the last time they played him. The Warriors have also lost to some bad teams yeah. this year. Uh, what have they been saying about facing these Sixers? Jackie Swan had one request after Oklahoma beat Oregon last night. According to Sports Illustrated, she asked her son if she could get a picture with country singer Toby Keith. He's an Oklahoma native. He was walking around on the court. But last night, it was Jackie's son, Buddy Heald, who was the far bigger star. Toby's got 20 number ones. Buddy has been tops in this tournament and could be the last man standing when all is said and done in Houston. He's the headliner as we look at the stars of Saturday. All right, so here it is. What was that? Best segment of the show. We're going to start with Penn State head coach James Franklin, Sarah, who dressed up like a bunny. We're Swings and misses? Borderline a little creepy. Wait, where's the confirmation? Does he take off the bunny head or you're not really supposed to do that, right? Uh, yeah, that wasn't bad. I'm thinking that had something to do with the recruit. Okay. Like, that's going to be impressive. Although recruit. they were all, <laughs> he's recruiting them young. Future they were all recruits, this big. yeah. Uh, all, right. all right, how about the next one? Yeah. What do we got? We oh, dancing. Dancing coaches. It happens from time to time. This is Holly Ward. The way it is. Duke guys do it. Carolina guys do it. Oregon guys do it. Everyone does it. Everyone's trying to get a competitive edge. But on, at the end of the game, to me, my job is to coach whatever school I'm coaching at. It's not to coach Dana Altman's players. If Dana Altman wanted to address that, Aren't coaches kind of touchy when, when other coaches talk to their players or, or tell their players what they should have done, if that, in the case, is what happened? Oh, it's a pet peeve with me. I mean, like, if another guy tries to talk... And our NBA analyst, Antonio Davis, with us here. And there's a couple things going on here, Antonio, because Cleveland.com reported that LeBron met with his coach last week, and part of that was over him fraternizing with Dwayne Wade at a half in a game that LeBron's team was losing badly. And then there's the Bleacher Report that's published Wednesday where he's talking about forming this super team and we know that now his GM met with him over those comments and said, you know, we need to just go out there and play ball. They lose to the Nets over the dress pants. I do. I like, well, that's what happens when you celebrate after a big win. You know, you end up pulling a calf muscle. Well, it hurts a little less when you win it, and pull the calf it, muscle, so he'll be okay. Jay Williams with us here. We just mentioned how good this... And he finds a way defensively to get in your pocket as he showed in the last possession. Uh, you're mentioning Notre Dame's poise. They've outscored opponents by a combined 14-3 to in the final minute to win in those last two games where they've pulled it off. So we'll see what they have in store for them tomorrow night. Jay's not going anywhere. Much more basketball to right talk here. about. Matt, a loss to Guatemala last night. The U.S. dropped from first to third in their Group C and trying to qualify for the 2018 World Cup in Russia. Now, the Americans have three games left, starting with a huge rematch Tuesday now against those same Guatemalans. Jurgen Klinsmann's squad needs to finish in the top two to move on to the final round of qualifying and that is a task that now looms larger after Saturday night's stumble. The United States should be going to Guatemala losing 2-0. And then it certainly changes the dynamic of this rematch. Of course it does. On Tuesday, what does it do for this team in terms of pressure? Well, it's a little, as Yogi Berra once said, it's deja vu. All. Going Trinidad, they didn't create any chances. They lost to Jamaica in the Gold Cup semifinal. Over the last six or seven months, it hasn't been convincing. And the most interesting thing you said was, is that once you calm down and you, you send out the, the smart tweets at 1.30 in the morning, because I don't think that's, that's the what, only thing I, I said that was smart. No, 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 no. I just think that I don't that's 